I'm Amber, welcome to the video, and uh, today I'm going to be listening to the new Stray Kids album. Uh, this is something I've never done before. To give you guys a bit of background, uh, I discovered Stray Kids Christmas kind of time, 2022 Christmas, so we're talking six months ago. Uh, I started listening to some of their music, a, a friend of mine introduced me to their music. And I kind of became obsessed. I started a playlist to add songs into if I liked the song. And I think only about two songs that I've listened to of, of Stray Kids have not made it into that playlist. It's like their music was built for me or something, I don't know. So I've liked a hell of a lot of their songs. Um, I've still not heard all of them. I'm still learning. I consider myself a baby stay. It's been six months and I just kind of love them. <laughs> It's the perfect background for this. It's not on purpose. This has been my wallpaper for a few weeks. Um, so I've been waiting for this comeback. Uh, it's my first Korean comeback by by them since kind of discovering them. The only album that they've released since I've discovered them has been their Japanese album, The Sound. So this is my first Korean album. I've been keeping up with the unveils and the teasers, and I've loved everything I've heard so far. I've been really excited um and people have said that they would like to see me react to it and i didn't even know music reaction was a thing so i don't know what i'm doing so i'm just gonna go about it like i would if the camera was off <laughs> okay i'm just gonna do what i would normally do and what i did with the sound and um and you go you guys can see it so my plan is i'm going to listen to uh all of the songs um in order and I usually use a lyric video to begin with so that I don't have to try too hard to work out who's singing what part. You know, I've, I've got that to kind of help me and I can just focus on the music. And it also gives me the English translation of any lyrics. So that's how I like to listen to it to begin with. Uh, and I'll, I'll listen to them and I'll, I'll, I'll give my thoughts. And then there's a music video out, too, which I will I'll react to separately. I'll do a different video. Um, I'll watch that afterwards. That's the plan. So I've got a notepad document ready to go to write down kind of, hopefully some kind of order of my favorites. I'm probably gonna need the track list so I know what order to go in. This is gonna be our track list. Zoom. <laughs> this is our track list. I'll have this over here as well. And we're just going to, I'm just going to listen to them. I've been at work all day and I could have, if, if I hadn't been planning to record my reaction, I would have used my lunch break to listen to the music. So I've literally been <laughs> sitting here all day. I've not been on Twitter because I don't want spoilers. I've not been on YouTube because I don't want to get tempted. And I've not been on Spotify either because I don't want to get tempted. So I've literally been deprived of everything all day. I've been sitting here at work going mad knowing that the music is here and I'm the only one not listening to it. So I'm very, very excited. I'm very nervous as well. To give you an idea of what I'm expecting, I do consider myself mostly an OT8 person. I really do love all of them um, for, for different reasons and... Um, I all kind of have moments of appreciating all of them. But I would say that when I started to get to know them and I started to watch videos of them to find out about their personality and get to know them better and kind of watching them do game shows and, and challenges and stuff like that, I found that my biases, as I would call them, would be Han, Felix and Jongin or Ayen. Uh, they those three kind of really. I mean, you've got he's he's a comedian. He's so funny. He is just absolute sunshine marshmallow, and so is he. Honestly, they're all so sweet. So I I do say that they those three are my biases in terms of the music. However, the the lines that I tend to really enjoy the most, and the parts of the song that I tend to enjoy the most, are the vocals. Um, I have such a thing for like when male singers can go really high pitched and stuff like that. So as you can imagine, <laughs> these two definitely, Jung Min and Jung In are both very good at kind of that higher pitched vocal line. Um, and also a little bit of Bang Chan recently, no? 
Uh, one of my favorite songs to listen to right now is Blueprint because he has like a, a lyric in that, like a little part in the second verse kind of area that it goes really high pitched and it just sounds so damn good. <laughs> it's so good. So those three in terms of like vocals, that's where I would gravitate towards the most. So from the unveils, I would say the ones that I'm most likely to like are going to be DLC and FNF just because they sound more vocal themed. But we'll see. <laughs> so let's go to YouTube. Oh, look, there's a lyric video there already. Beautiful. Uh, but we're going to go in order. So we're starting with, we are going to start with Hall of Fame. This is the first one. Lyrics by Fang Chan. Chang Bin and Han. So everyone from Three Ratcher. But it thinks I mean what's the other band? The script. It thinks I mean the script. Alright. Oh, this one's got like the new pictures on. Look, the picture of Han. Should we do that one? Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm so excited, but I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay, this is Hall of Fame. This is the first track. I'm just going to listen to it, and then I will give my thoughts. I don't know. I'm just going to do this my way, okay? I don't know how people react to music. I, I don't know what I'm doing. How are we going to do volume with this, do you think? Easy. I can't believe I've got new music to listen to. Oh, I love it. Really satisfying, no? That's badass, man. <laughs> Fuck yes. That was so damn good. <laughs> what the fuck? That was so damn good. The what the fuck? <laughs> That's so damn good. That high note, 
Holy shit. They had they had audio of like the moon landing, no? <laughs> did, did I, I got that right, no? They're referencing a lot of famous people, which is kind of on brand with the theme that they've gone for with this album. But I kind of loved that they had like the play on words between Armstrong and I'm strong. I think that's so cool. And I will admit, I mean, Hans first was like, <sighs> but there's something about Changbin's rap. He does like this weird fluctuation thing with his vocals where he's got like certain points in certain syllables where he goes like high pitched, but it's really quick. So it kind of fluctuates and it sounds fucking amazing. I noticed this in Domino. When you listen to Domino, he does the same thing. You see what I mean? That kind of the way he goes high pitched like that. It's so good. There's something really like catchy about it. Oh my god. I love it. I think they all kicked ass. There was another part as well that This part I fucking love as well. Really satisfying to listen to. And this part. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. All right, I'm going to write it down so that I can start to <laughs> I can start to place how I feel about him. Hall, what's this called? Hall of Fame? What a great start to the album. I was looking at the track list going, why didn't they put the title track first? Is that is that a normal thing? I don't know. But this is such a good introduction to it. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's so good. I want to listen to it again immediately, but if I do that <laughs> with every song, I'll be here all night and it will be the longest video to record in history. It was so, so good. Very catchy. Yeah, there we go. Shaking the industry, quaking reality, making it iconic. New iconic line by Felix. It just, it had like a punch to it, no? It was just really satisfying to listen to. All right, what's next? What have we got next? The title track, S Class, also written by Bang Chan, Changbin, and Han. All right, <laughs> we're taking a reprieve for a couple of minutes because um, it's getting to the point where all my colleagues are saying goodbye. So I'm going to have constant that going on in the background and I don't want to get distracted. So we're not going to start it until they're done. Such a catchy song, man. I've just got that line stuck in my head. Just shaking the industry, quaking reality. <laughs> it's so good. I swear Felix gets some really memorable lines. I'm really looking forward to listening to Top Line just so I can hear the bomb diggy diggy bom 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 bom. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Alright, and we are out of there. We are done with work. Let's get back to it. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, this one I've been watching the TikToks for the duo dances for them. So this one I've had stuck in my head a little bit. This is the one that has the music video too, right? I like it. Change the pace of the song. Damn. 
Damn. Oh, it sped up again. This has got to be my favorite part. his voice I feel like I'm going to listen to that one a lot. I'm not going to lie. That one is definitely my kind of thing. Let me write it down. <laughs> my favorite part is definitely like the lead up to the chorus. So it's going to be like here. This. And this. so damn catchy it it sets off something in my brain i swear there's like an itch in my brain that it just scratches <laughs> it's so satisfying the way that it sounds and especially when bang chan is singing that particular part the serpent road part it reminds me a lot of like that his vocals in blueprint that he can go that high we don't always hear that or at least i don't always get to hear that I love hearing him sing like that. It's so good. Same with you, sir. You, you'd call some nice angelic vocals. I'm not going to lie. So that's definitely my favorite part of the song. But then we get hit with this. <sighs> so beautiful. He has such a beautiful voice as well. Oh, man. And you know what? When I said um, that he's one of my biases, but for like personality reasons, actually, that's not true. I mean, it is now. <laughs> but when I first decided that I really liked him, when he really caught my attention, it was because of his vocals. So Han and Felix both caught my attention because of their personality to begin with. And then I was like, oh, yeah, he's quite he, he smiles a lot and he's always looking really happy. But it was when I started to hear his vocals that I was like, I really like to hear him sing. And that's why he sounds so angelic. So, oh, just beautiful. Mwah. So good. And again, like between Changbin, Hyunjin and Han with the rap parts, it just it packed a punch it was so satisfying oh, i really like this one this one's got a lot of replayability for me for sure oh, i'm loving it i can't wait to watch the music video for that one i'm gonna do that separately i'm gonna do that afterwards i want to listen to all the music first so why did i move that over here the next one we have oh it's so good i just want to listen to them like again immediately the, the next one we have is item off to a real good start, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, this is track three, this is item. I don't think we got uh, any kind of unveil or anything for this, so nothing about this one. Let's see how it goes. Who's gonna be the first one up? <laughs>
Damn. Come on, Lino. Catchy. <laughs> the chorus is throwing me. Holy shit, hon. <laughs> Holy shit, Changmin. <laughs> Calm down. That's a real satisfying line, I'm not gonna lie. There's a name for this type of song, isn't there? I forget what it is. I'll have to look it up afterwards. Fuck yeah. I like it. It's so good. What the fuck? Is that it? Oh man, I could listen to that for ages. So when it first started, I was I wasn't so sure because it's there's a name for it where the the verses are like they build up, but then the chorus kind of drops. Uh... <laughs> How do I even begin to try and define that so Google knows what I'm talking about? Okay, I just found out what it was. Uh, it's called an anti-drop. It's where like the verses kind of build up, but then the chorus is more minimal and it's not the focus of the song. They've done a couple of songs like it um, in the past, but that's what this is, right? Like the verse and the pre-chorus is like really building up and then the chorus itself isn't it it doesn't like pack the punch of the song right it it kind of like is more minimal that's what this does so the first time the chorus dropped i was like okay you know i'm not sure about it but it's so satisfying that as i was listening to it it got more and more catchy and by the end i was like yeah <laughs> it's so good there's so many things in this i love i think this is kind of lino's time to shine cuz i noticed he gets some rap lines but he also gets vocal lines so he kind of gets a little bit of everything. This kicks ass, but then he goes on to have like vocal lines, right? So we get to see a lot of his variety. Felix, every time he sang, he was doing something really amazing with his voice. Like it, it sounded incredible. You know what I mean? Like, he's doing some really interesting things with his voice. It's so cool. So you start with this and I was like, God damn. We get into the vocals. This line is gorgeous. It's so satisfying. So is that. <laughs> 
this is the build up. I love it so much. Oh. And then, yeah, this one I wasn't so sure about, but it really does like pack a punch. It's really satisfying to listen to. And there's something kind of growly about the way that they sing it that just makes it like even better. I love it. Hyunjin kicking ass too. I like that one too. What the fuck? <laughs> I've been so nervous all day. Like I'm, I've, I'm literally waiting to find a song that I don't like. And I know that's a really weird way to approach it, but I'm just so nervous um, because I've loved so much of what they do that it kind of feels unreal to me that I like so much of their music. But there's something about it. It's like they're not like anything I've ever really listened to before. At the same time, it feels like it was made for me because <laughs> I like everything. And I used to just say, like, if people ask if I like rap, I would flat out say no, I don't like rap. But when these guys do it, I like it. It's so smooth. I'm noticing a theme, right, with the, the you keep mentioning, in this one it was Achilles, in Hall of Fame we had a lot of them, we had Galileo, we had Einstein, Armstrong, stuff like that, but it's all kind of referencing um, kind of really famous or legendary figures. So far this seems to be like a celebration of their career, getting to this point, and kind of saying, yes, we're here, this is who we are. Like, you know, we're not going to change for anyone. We're going to leave our mark on the world. We're going to be legends. So that's the kind of vibe it's giving. I know there's probably a lot of references to other songs. Um, in the... I think it's the teaser that they've released for S-Class. People were saying like, oh, the, there's a reference to this song and this song and this song. I'm not going to know that because I'm a baby state and I, I don't, I have not watched all the music videos and the ones I have watched, I've probably watched a, once or twice. I don't know them well enough to get like references and, and pick up like, oh, that was in that music video. So a lot of that is going to fall short for me if they like reference other parts of their career or other kind of songs or music videos. Um, but in general, I just think that even as someone who doesn't get that stuff, you just get this kind of idea where it's like they're celebrating the work that they've done to this to get to this point and they're they're saying like this is it we are here you know like you're gonna see us um and i i think that's really badass we're gonna keep going what's next oh i need to write that one down what's that one called I... next we have super bowl super bowl We're just going to go straight into it. I thought I paused it, but I did not. Who's up? This one's got a bit of a slower pace to it. Oh, that made, that made me want to shiver. <laughs> it's like ASMR in music.
<laughs> it kind of gives me tingles, I don't know. I have goosebumps. I love it when Han gets like proper singing vocals. He's got a gorgeous voice. I don't know what how to describe it. it makes me want to squirm. It's like they're right in my ears. It's so good. They um they had whisper chorus, no? <laughs> um, it's it's like a good feeling, but it kind of it's like it tickles. I don't know. It's a slower paced one, which isn't normally my fave. I mean, Han's vocals, though. Oh, man, his voice. So good. <laughs> so good. Oh, my goodness. That blew me away. I was not expecting that. I'm not going to lie. I like it. It's really creative of them to do whispering. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> Super Bowl. Mm. I may have found a flaw in my rating system. <laughs> in that, <laughs> I'm giving them all very similar ratings, which begs the question: Why am I rating them? All right. Next, we have Top Line. Oh man, <laughs> I hope. I like it because the teaser for this was insane. We have nine people. Oh, because of time trigger. You have to check. You've got to be sure with these things, you know. Sorry, I'm going to turn it up a bit for you guys because I think I'm at max. Oh, I'm not at max. I mean, I'm sorry. Go back. I can hear Felix's line already. <laughs> oh man. So good. Oh, man.
Man. So satisfying to listen to. Every line is so satisfying. There's something about... I, I just, I appreciate both sides of it, right? Especially in the lead up to the chorus, it was like the, the trinity of vocals, right? You had Lino, Sungmin and Ayan doing like the, the singing parts and it was just really beautiful and catchy. And then you had like all of the rap going on from Han, Hyunjin, Changbin and Tiger. And they were all like, it was just so smooth and they, they can rap so fast fucking fast man I get blown away by how quickly they can say those damn syllables because I couldn't talk that quickly <laughs> it's so good so I was just like really appreciating the transition between like all of the the rap portions into like the vocal into the the badass chorus with Felix like boom diggy diggy boom 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 it's so good it really is so good <laughs> oh, I like that line too. <laughs> it's good. I like the lyrics. There's a part, there's a line in the lyrics. Your neck must be stiff from only looking up. Oh! <laughs> and they talk about karma too. And that's something I see quite a lot. People talking about stray kids getting their karma. Like good karma, obviously. Um, it's just, oh man. The, the lyrics kind of kick ass, I'm not going to lie. It's so damn good. I'm so proud of them. Kicking ass. Okay, I know where that one's going. <laughs> I've definitely got an issue with my rating system and you're gonna see it. Next, we have... What was that, top line? Deals. This one is potentially my favourite unveil. Not only was it catchy, but it was like there was something really ethereal about it too. Let's go into it. I like hearing him sing too. Oh, I can just picture Lino dancing in that unveil. So good. I bet this one's going to have a kick-ass choreography. Damn. 
so catchy. Oh, I'm gonna listen to that five thousand times. <laughs> Holy shit. The first thing I noticed, and I noticed it in the unveil too. Uh, Bang Chang. Something about his vocals in this song is so fucking sexy <laughs> is that there's something about it the way he sings those lines especially please don't care about me it's okay i mean any any time any of them sing that line that's definitely like the most catchy line to me it it just again it's like an itch in my brain gets scratched when i hear that so damn good his vocals i noticed it in the in the unveil too but his vocals oh the only thing I will say, um, can I watch the unveil again real quick? Because it sounds a little bit different. This is the unveil. See, the music sounds a little bit different, right? It's like more acoustic and a little bit faded. Honestly, there's a lot I could say about this unveil alone, like, <laughs> other than fucking gorgeous lyrics. This, this part is so damn good. And then it cuts to, like, Soong Min looking absolutely gorgeous. Lino is dancing. <laughs> I was picturing that while I was listening to it. But you, you get what I mean, right? And I, I don't know if all the unveils were like that and I didn't notice, but I definitely noticed for this. When I.N. sings his line, there's no music. It's compl it sounds ethereal because there's just no music. And even the next line, it's quite musicless, right? And they didn't do I was waiting for that moment in this and it didn't happen. There was music all the time. And that's fine. It's still a kick-ass song. I like it. I'm just... I wasn't expecting it. So I was kind of waiting for that kind of moment where the music cut out and you just get this ethereal voice kind of cutting through the silence and it never really happened. I don't know why they, they changed because the, the unveil, honestly, is like a whole other level of beautiful as well. So I don't I don't know why there's a difference, but I feel like I would listen to both. <laughs> I would listen to both versions. This is very, very catchy. It's just that it was a little bit different, I feel like, than what the unveil kind of made. You're not allowed to be that gorgeous, though. I'm sorry, you're not. <laughs> so that's the only thing that I found surprising. And again, it's not a criticism. I just found it surprising um, that that moment never happened or like they they didn't do the music in the same way. But I loved Bang Chan's voice in this. And I'm noticing that I love it when the people I'm used to hearing rap sing. And the people I'm used to hearing sing rap. <laughs> when I heard like Lee No doing a rap line, I was like, fuck yes. And then in this, hearing like Chang Bin sing, I was like, fuck yes. I love it. I'm, I think I'm used to hearing like these three especially rap. So hearing any of them sing, I'm just like, oh, I'm living for it. And then Felix does both, honestly. He sings and raps quite a lot. I'm used to hearing both from him. And then obviously the two youngest vocals, Lino vocals, Bang Chan vocals, I would say, 
Um, so I like it when we get a little bit of a switch as well, and they they try something a little bit different from what I'm used to hearing. It was very cool hearing Changbin sing. So good. Oh, here we go. How good is that verse, though? It's so... There's something about it, right? The way it kind of goes up and down. It's very fluttery. I like it. I like it a lot. And then Felix just being Felix. Oh, his voice, too. Mm, it's so good. So good, that one. I'm gonna listen to a million times, I can tell. I can already tell.